Happy moving days, moving weeks, I think, guys. I'm back from Nashville, my voice is shot. Um, it is Monday, I'm going to work out, and then I'm going to go close on the new house. Um, we're gonna start moving a few things over, and then tomorrow is the big moving day, where like the actual movers come and are just, like I'm taking like bags and stuff of myself. I'm a little concerned, this looks nothing like my coffee order. Anyways, we'll see to Theo Vaughn. Like there's really no one in this world who's funny, you guys. Like, I love that man. I also am gonna film an empty house tour today and we're taking the dogs over so Fitz can see his new yard. I'm very excited. I'm really ready for it to be Friday and I'm in the house and things are unpacked and I'm just there. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe. There's going to be so many moving, decorating vlogs. I still have to build a guest house. So much furniture is coming over the next couple months. It's gonna be actually a really fun time on this youtube channel so subscribe if y'all are new well congratulations thank you let us know if we can help you Our thank you thank you so much that was great thank you anytime, anytime. anytime. appreciate it yeah are you done with this uh, yes oh yeah and sorry this little sign your little sign thank oh okay so <laughs> yay all right guys i am a homeowner again it's time to go home do some laundry, get ready, and then I have to head over to the house today because we have Wi-Fi, we have security, we have people coming, okay? Anyways, um, my realtor, by the way, in Dallas is Melanie Bray, my fave. You guys can just DM her on Instagram. Um, I'm so happy. All right, guys, I don't know when it got hot in Texas, but today, I just ran home. Um, I have movers coming tomorrow, Einstein movers, but, um, Oh my god, I'm so hot. I like left out outfits for myself and I'm dying. We're going to the house for the first time since I'm the owner, taking the dogs, but we've got like Wi-Fi, everyone there. So we're in a rush. My grandma's with me. Whew. Wait, Fitz, come here, bud. Come over here. Oh my gosh, we're so happy, Fitz. Okay, let's go outside. Let's go outside. It's, no, come over here, over here. <gasps> Look what we have! It's a yard! <gasps> Look. I need to start running. It is just me in the house for the first time. The dogs are really loving it. It's very echoing because there's nothing here. The Wi-Fi just got set up. I have a phone charger on the way. My security is coming in like an hour to set up. And I'm going even more intense with this house than last time. So, I have like so many things being installed. I'm tired. Anyways, I just love the house. It doesn't feel real yet. I think it won't feel real until I move. And I just posted the video, like, of the buying townhouse real and TikTok I posted. And I'm like, I'm actually, like, so sad. Like, I'm so grateful and so excited for this move. But every move, I just get so, like, sad to leave the place. And I'm, like, so dramatic. And it was my first place that I bought. And it was, like, the most growth I've ever had in my life. Jobs at best. It was our highest highs and our absolute lowest lows. And it's just sad, but this house is obviously so much better. The whole thing is better. I just like will miss the rooftop that I really didn't even use enough. But having a garden, having everything on one story, especially when you have dogs, is so much better. Um, let's go walk around and try out different places to vlog. Uh, we even have over here for the kitchen. Guys, this is gonna be fabulous. I don't even know where I'm gonna put my coffee machine. Because, really, here's the thing. I could, I don't think I'll put it in here. No, I won't, there's not enough counter space. I mean, I guess over there, over here I feel like makes the most sense, but I think that this is not tall enough. I don't know, it feels kind of gross. I need to clean this stuff up. This is the trash that we have going, we got McAllister's. And this is the gift my realtor gave me. Guys, by the way, so excited. I'm obsessed with cookbooks. 
Like there's nothing like actually having a cookbook out. This sounds like kind of dumb because it's just like obvious. But instead of being on your phone, because when I'm in the kitchen, I like to not have my phone and it's actually like relaxing. So I'm really excited also to have so much space to store all of my cookbooks. And then everything in here, it's just fabulous. My new fridge, which is actually smaller than my last fridge, um, needs to be clean before I like put stuff in it. But my uh, my fridge in my townhouse is massive. And that was like, the space was just massive. You don't really get to decide like, the size of fridge you have unless you're building. So I have that, my Wi-Fi is set up. And pretty soon, aka tomorrow, things will be here. There's also like so much lighting, it's just amazing. Guys, these dogs are exhausted. Like they really don't know what to do with themselves. It's so cute. It is now 11 p.m. I was at the new house for like 12 hours or 11 hours unexpectedly. I had no idea I'd be there that long. Um, I had to go a little bit earlier for Wi-Fi and then it's security come at like four or five and it's so intense that they're not even done and they've been setting it up. I mean, they took like so long. They're so nice. Like it's obviously just like we're getting a lot done. I just didn't know it would take that long. So I think I would have like scheduled it differently. I just, I don't know why I just am dumb. Also, I added a lot more stuff. Anyways, so it's the last night in the townhouse, but it's like not the same. Like everything's packed up. It's sad. I'm kind of getting emo today. Um, but yeah, everything's already packed up and whatever. It's not really my last real night in the townhouse. Wait, guys, I'm getting really sad. I don't know. This is like the best townhouse ever. I don't want to say it's much better than this one because this townhouse was the best townhouse ever. And I'm really, really sad to leave. But it's part of growing up and I'm growing up. And we just need, I just needed some different things in this part of my life. And it's just time to grow up and move on. And I'm sad, very, very sad. But I'm really excited for the new house. So hopefully the mood doesn't take that long. I have to wake up really early again. And like, I'm just so sleep deprived and irritable. And like, oh my God, guys. It's okay though. Moving, we're, we're moving along. And hopefully moving will be, I'm hoping that I have everything unpacked like this week. Like my life is devoted to setting up my new life in my new house until further notice. Taking the dogs over for the last time. This is your last time in the townhouse, guys. They do not care. Okay. It is moving day. I picked up Starbucks for, hello everyone, what is happening? Just picked up Starbucks, heading back to the house. The movers have arrived, my grandmother has arrived. I was just getting everyone Starbucks, so I'm coming a little bit late. I dropped the dogs off, so they're not in the way and they're not like freaked out. Um, but yeah, I am just, I'm trying to just like be in a really good mood and I am really excited. I'm just overwhelmed and all these people were being really mean to me yesterday. So it was really putting a little damper on my day. But anyways, I'm hoping that we're only at this house for like three hours and then we move to the next house. Cause I need to be there by a certain point because more people are coming to the house. And I also just want to be out. But it's the last time the dogs will ever be at that house, most likely. The townhouse. I am selling it by the way. I don't know if I have said that officially on here. I was originally going to rent it and then I just realized I don't want to be a landlord. Even with the property manager, like I just it was just like too much and also I can make a lot of money off of it. So that was the choice. Anyways. Einstein Movers, they are moving me today. If y'all are in Dallas, um, they're great. I, I got them from recommendations from like other people. Oh, they're here. Anyways, so they're so nice. I talked to them on the phone this morning and they were like really, really nice. y'all they had to bring out another van um or truck because there's more here than i think anyone realized so anyways 
Lots of progress. They're so nice. They're so fast. I'm going to take stuff over for the fridge. We're going to head over pretty soon because we have our cars packed. Everything's done. All right, y'all. So my car is packed. They had to bring another van. They're so nice and like helpful and so fast. And I have those like Ikea closet things, which are, you know, a pain. They're like a custom closet. And I guess they're like a big pain to take apart too. They said it normally takes longer. So then they like had other people come and they're just like so nice. So I'm heading over now. Pretty much everything is out of the house besides like a few things. Um, so I'm heading over. I just ordered McAllister's for lunch for everyone. So I, they're not gonna be that much longer here because they said that was fine. So anyways, to the new house we go. It is literally only, it's not far from where I live now. So it's really not that big of a deal. But anyways. All right, I'm at the house. I'm gonna start unloading my truck, or my truck, as if it's like a moving truck. My car, why am I falling? I've got clothes that I stuff, will be stuffed in here. All right, so one hamper, moving supplies, actual bag. This is, again, the best bag ever, the Calpac Luca duffel. Hello. We're back at the house. Um, I'm unboxing a package from Columbia Farms. I made it just in time for the move. This. Wow. I was just thinking how I really need iced coffee. And look what arrived. It's crazy. Awesome. I know. So we have this. If anyone needs coffee, it's good. I think sugar. Sweet. Do you feel like they don't taste sweet? No, I didn't try it. I only ordered two tea and I only ordered two. And I feel like that was not sweet. Oh. Okay, I also got Calypia Farms Almond Milk Creamer. Oh, nice. Ice Cafe Mixers Vanilla Sweet Cream. Oh, that's cool. Like a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. I need rags to clean. Mint chip. Oh, yeah. Well, um, I don't know what to say about that one. I have paper towels. No, I need a rag. We're making good progress. It's only 12.30. And I'm feeling very good about this. Okay, this is stuck. Guys, something that we need to go. I forgot to vlog last night. Jessica and Lauren came over. I don't even know if I vlogged this. I was here until 11.30, it was really rough. But look guys, Lauren got me these olive oils. This is the 100% garlic olive oil from Brightland and this is the 100% olive oil. Lauren's really good at gift giving uh, because she always remembers the most random things that I want. And I said olive oil, like my, I don't even know if she knows I remember that I said that and just like maybe separately thought this was a good gift. I'm so excited. I've wanted this stuff for so long. Good olive oils, like you really just, you can't, you can't do better. Also, my realtor got me the Half-Baked Harvest Cookbook, which I'm really excited to use. Oh my god, recipes from my barn in the mountains. I didn't even realize how personalized this was to me. Anyways, I'm really excited to do this. I'm excited to be cooking and eating healthy and going to the farmer's market. You look so cute, though. besides they have to do with the closet room tomorrow. So I'm just getting some more boxes done. I need to shower, I feel disgusting, but it's a fine shampoo and conditioner. So I'm unpacking some more stuff. I feel like I'm gonna get a second wind, second wave, second wind. Um, and then tonight, my friends are coming over for dinner. We're just gonna like chill and probably order pizza or whatever. So they can do the house. Justin Warren already saw it, they're coming over. Um, and I'm gonna take my first 
shower and the new house. And like, look at how fabulous the shower is. Also, the tub is huge. I also have bugs everywhere because we've had the doors open. All right, guys, I have unpacked a ton more. I showered, I changed, lots of boxes are gone. The couch is going to get washed, do not worry. Um, I ordered the Bro Bunny Housewife set, which by the way, is probably available right now, but it won't be available much longer. I got um, XLs in them, and they're so comfy. But I need to have every single size, because you never know what fit you're gonna want with like, crews and sweats and you know what I mean? Like I literally buy everything in every, like a Bro Bunny Housewife in every size. So I love option. But anyways, the girls are coming over. Gonna have a little Olipop vintage cola. They're bringing dinner over. I'm on FaceTime with Dominique. She's also working on house projects. Dom, do you wanna say hello and give them a little, a little update on your little roommate situation that we have never been able to talk about? Hi. 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 So I'm actually sanding right now. I'm about to repaint my new office slash closet room. Dom? Go on her TikTok. You need to like, you have so many more things to say. Dom just got out of the craziest roommate situation. It's been something that like, all of our friends have known about for a year, I mean a while. Um, and it was horrible. So anyway, she's, she was very, very wrong. So she's now taking it to TikTok to share with you guys. I'm glad that we're here. Anyways, I'm getting to pull in for the first time in like two and a half years. Oop. The lighting in my bathroom is kind of fabulous. So tonight, um, the girls are coming over and then at eight, someone is coming over to set up my bed. And then um, I guess I can get the stuff out of Casper or out of my Casper boxes because that's going to be like my sheets and stuff. Casper sent me a mattress. They sent me a robe. They sent me like a bunch of bedding and pillows and whatever. And my favorite pillow ever, by the way, is already Casper. Um, but I put it on Dom's bed in this house because I am getting new ones, I think. And it, that needs to be fixed over there, okay? But it was, it, this is a huge, huge rug. The caster mattress has been sitting there, nightstands, the whole thing. It feels so good in my room. All right, guys, it is 10.30 p.m. And everyone finally just left, and I'm finally in my home alone for the first time. Um, by everyone, I mean, like, the security and like those people not my friends um but they're all very nice anyways had a good night my friends came over we hung out there was like actually like eight of us there's a lot of us over here um i'm drinking my water this is the only cup that i have right now mm. also my bed i'll show you guys how i just like got set up i'm gonna actually set up the bed tomorrow because the box bring gets in tomorrow but i got this like blanket robe thing from casper and it is unbelievable like it just is the best thing ever. Like I'm going to wear this around the house, literally on top, and I want it in every single color. It's so good. Both the dogs are exhausted. I just feel amazing. And let's go see the bedroom. So it's literally the bed, but just in king size. So anyways, this is the update on the room. Not much. In tomorrow's vlog, there's gonna be a main focus on the closet room. Lauren, last one that got us carry on a ticket, so I'm going to that. Um, and then just more unpacking house stuff. I have to go to the old townhouse. A lot is happening, okay? I'm gonna wake up and go on a walk. I just like desperately need to be back in my routine. And we're getting there slowly but surely. I'm thinking by this time next week, I'll fully be back in my own routine. I guess I'll be figuring out a new routine in a new house, but it's so weird, like sleeping here and this is my house and not my townhouse. I know I'm like really annoying and like sentimental and whatever, but like, I am like kind of sad. Like the townhouse is like my first like home home, you know? I know this is much better, but still I just love that place. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sleeping in Dom's room. Because that bed's actually set up. And I will talk to you guys in my next vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed my little moving day. Love y'all. Okay, bye. It doesn't scare me because I chose this, but like it is interesting when you have so much wrapped up into your career that's not just how you make your money. No, it does scare me. Yeah. It's also like, but I more so just get so annoyed of myself.